I'm Wyatt Beard, I'm a second year here at the EMT class, and today we're going over oxygen therapy. I'm here with Kyla Lord. Kyla, tell us a little about what we're doing today. Well, today we're doing some oxygen therapy. We're working with masks, using oxygen regulators, running through the steps of how we put the regulator on, how we bleed the oxygen tank, how to put the masks on the patients. How does this apply in real life? What situations would we be using this in? Um, we would have to know what we use the mask for, when to use a venturi mask, when to use a stoma or a tracheotomy mask. You want to be able to recognize that you can use a BVM without having to use a child mask. I'm Scott Miller and some of the equipment that we're using today is, this one is a non-rebreather mask. Non-rebreather masks are used when treating patients with trauma. Uh, it has a valve in it so when the patient breathes out, uh, none of the oxygen comes back into the bag. This is a venturi mask right here. Venturi masks are used to treat patients with COPD or emphysema. Um, you would use a BVM to regulate the respiratory rate or the volume that they're taking in. The final mask that we have right here is a tracheostomy mask. It's when a patient has a permanent stoma, which is a hole in the neck. And now I'm over here with Lorenzo Ramirez, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the tanks and the attachments. This is the regulator right here, and uh, you put it on there. And then this right here tells you how much pressure per square inch you have in your tank. And this is the key right here that turns the on the oxygen tank. And right here, this tells you how many liters per minute uh, you're going to send oxygen to the patient. What's your favorite thing that we've been doing today? Um, my favorite thing is breathing for each other. It gives us a good sense of what we would be doing in the field and how we would go about it and how to match breathing patterns of your patient to slow down their rate. Now I'm here with our instructor, Mr. Ayers. How does it make you feel watching us learn this stuff? The kids are they're learning critical thinking skills today and uh, this is a very difficult area for the students and uh, they appear to be doing a, a good job at this time. Once the students successfully complete this course, uh, they become eligible for the National Registry for Emergency Medical Technician, which is a comprehensive exam that they will take. Once they successfully complete that, they are eligible for licensure in the state of Michigan, and uh, these students are actually finding jobs when, uh, when they obtain their, their licensure. I'm Wyatt Beard in the EMT class. Today we learned about oxygen therapy, and you're catching it in the classroom.